A few weeks ago, Germany made world headlines by formally recognising the Armenian genocide. In doing so, they joined a small list of countries that recognised the Armenian genocide. This list includes countries like the United States, Russia and France, but it does not include countries like the UK, Australia or New Zealand. Now, without delving into whether New Zealand should or should not recognise the Armenian genocide, this did prompt me to think about a particularly unsavoury event of New Zealand's history. In 1835, a group of about 900 Māori from the Taranaki region hijacked a ship and sailed to the Chatham Islands, where they enslaved the Moriori inhabitants and killed the others. After the invasion, <coughs> the Moriori were prohibited from marrying or having children with each other, and of the population of 2,000, by 1862, only 101 were left alive. This history is summarised in Michael King's book, Maori Ori. It's hard to see how this systemic eradication of a people could not be considered genocide. When I was a child growing up in the 90s, there was a common narrative amongst Pākehā who disagreed with the Treaty of Waitangi settlements process that, well, so what that we took the Māori's land? They, in turn, took the land from the Moriori. And this narrative was based on a myth that the <coughs> Moriori were a people who inhabited the entirety of New Zealand before the Māori arrived. And this isn't true. The reality is that the Moriori were a separate Polynesian culture who existed simultaneously with the Māori on the Chatham Islands alone. The counter-narrative given by progressives of the time was that that's a myth. The, the Māori genuinely were the first people in New Zealand. And this is true, but in my experience, it neglects to acknowledge the existence of the Moriori or, that, or the event of the Moriori genocide. In fact, in my own experience, I wasn't aware of the Moriori genocide until a few years ago when I read Jared Diamond's book, Guns, Germs and Steel. And I think that this reflects uh, that the Moriori genocide simply isn't taught in New Zealand society. Now, at this point, we might ask, well, why dredge up the past and cause ill feelings? Why, why cause political divisiveness? And I would agree that the Moriori genocide shouldn't be used as a cynical political point scoring, nor should it be used to heap blame or unrecoverable guilt on one particular group of people. But rather, it's important to acknowledge that all humans across all of history and spanning the globe are capable of atrocities. Giving a free pass to a political minority or explaining things away with cultural context, I think, is a symptom of what's becoming known as the regressive left, whereby regressive attitudes are fostered in the, under the pretext of tolerance or multiculturalism. Acknowledging these events shouldn't be about scorekeeping, and I would even suggest that it's not practical to try even the scales. Instead, acknowledging these events help us understand how we've got to the progressive society we live in today and help us understand the range of human capability. We should acknowledge what happened as truthfully and as factually as possible and without an emotive agenda. A good start would be, telling it, would be calling it what it is, a genocide, and talking about it within the context of other significant events in New Zealand history that form New Zealand's identity, such as the invasion of Gallipoli, the Treaty of Waitangi, the Land Wars, the Springbok Tour, and the sinking of the Rainbow Warrior. Now, it's much, much more uncomfortable acknowledging uh, this kind of event, a genocide, than it is to, an, 
acknowledge an event where we are the victim, such as the sinking of the Rainbow Warrior, or an event where we were on the right side of history. But to alleviate this tension, I would suggest taking a book from, the, uh, from Germany's playbook. Germany is perhaps the best example of a country that has committed a genocide and has acknowledged the fact. And from an outside perspective, I would suggest that we can even admire them for how well they've done that. We certainly don't disparage or resent uh, Germans for their acknowledgement of their genocide. I think, uh, without conflating the, uh, the Moriori genocide and Germany's genocide, I think we should set the same standard for ourselves.